Hey guys, Doug here. How's it going? I've got another holiday building review for you. And before we get started, I just wanted to apologize for my voice. It's pretty much gone. I've got a bad head cold. I've had one this week. I have a limited amount of time to film though, and I wanted to bang this one out. So apologies. So the building I have for you today is Christmas at the Farm, which is part of the Harvest Crossing line by Lee Max. And this is a new for 2017. And note that it is not an exclusive to any one retailer. This is just new in general for the line, so you can pick it up anywhere. But anyways, Christmas at the Farm, so... This works well with the, you know, like the Christmas tree farm motif. It's basically, you know, a very nice traditional looking red barn with a Christmas tree outside, a wagon full of presents, and Santa's out there. And there's some horses there too in the in the uh, little stable to the side. Really, really cool building. I've done some, you know, Harvest Crossing reviews here recently, and I said that, you know, some of them are more Thanksgiving, summer kind of fall, and summer winter, you know, slash Christmas. Well, this one obviously, you know, is a Christmas style one. Even ignoring the Santa and everything else, the base of it is snow. So it would kind of look funky if you put it on you know like a, a green base or one of the brown bases something like you would do for you know like a late fall one so anyways my only point to that is to show you, you know that yes there are different type of buildings within the same line that go to different holidays now this building uh, is actually pretty well lit um, you can see here that there's no standard internal bulb you actually just plug the adapter into it and it gets the light you know from that way there is uh, internal light though like coming out of the stable um, there's a yellow light that's uh, you know on top of the barn uh, that, that faces down and then the cool part is the barn is actually lined with little LEDs which is you know really neat and before seeing this in person I did not know that the Christmas tree is actually lit now the bulbs are very small on the tree but many of them are lit super super cool I find that uh, this one has very very nice detail um, and a paint job just just really really nice reminds me very much of like a department 56 Christmas style building and um, it's also around the same size of that. Now for me, I had thought this was going to be bigger, um, but it is fairly small, so you might want to note that if you, you know, depending on what kind of display you're going to put it in. It's interesting how the Lee Max Christmas buildings, um, the scale is a little bit different to where a lot of the bigger, you know, lit buildings with the animations are fairly big, where a lot of the lit houses um, like this, even though this isn't a standard internal bulb house, it's, it's similar to that, and they are sort of smaller, so that could be a deal breaker depending whether you want something bigger or smaller. Again, I think it works great great for like the Christmas tree farm uh, motif because it's you know well as the name implies Christmas on the farm and a lot of times at a Christmas tree farm you know you'll see this you know a Santa on site where or you know you can get your picture taken with him or they have you know kind of like a present exchange and everything looking here actually at the uh, the details of the scene the figurines are painted very nice and so are the horses I love all the little things like you know Christmas wreath uh, underneath the uh, horses in the stable the apple cart the apple bucket garland adorned you know on top of the uh, across the barn just very very cool. I would give this piece an 8 out of 10 if it was bigger and again this is just my preference because I enjoy the bigger style buildings. Uh, this would be a 10 out of 10 if it was bigger but it is smaller so uh, for my display there are other barns that would work better but if you have you know smaller type buildings especially if you have D56 and you want to integrate uh, some Lemax, this would be fantastic for it. Details, fit and finish, lighting, all top notch. Very, very cool piece. And I would recommend you check it out if you think this would be your thing. So thanks a lot. Again, apologies for my voice. Hopefully I can kick this cold soon here. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.